In May of 2009, the Freedom Air were on expedition to the island of Roatan off the coast of Honduras when they were presented with a unique opportunity. Carl Stanley, founder of the Roatan Institute of Deep Sea Exploration, was prepared to take his submarine, Idabel, to investigate a deep sea shipwreck. In 1990, the Windy sank in Coxon Hole Harbor with its cargo of waste cardboard. The true cause is shrouded in rumor, but it is believed that the crew may have scuttled the ship after a dispute with its owners. A hazard in the harbor, in 1993 the United States Navy undertook the salvage of the Windy, disposing of the wreck in deep water on April 21, 1993. Our mission was to locate the ship at its estimated depth of 420 fathoms or 2,520 feet. Would there be interesting coral formations on the wreck? Could the tons of cardboard have provided nutrients to sustain a community of deep sea organisms? To expedite our search, we were towed on the surface for two miles to the last known coordinates of the Windy. We descended quickly, free falling into the Cayman Trench, much like the Windy did over 15 years earlier. 500, 1,000, 1,500 feet. At around 1,700 feet, we slipped into permanent darkness where the light of the sun never reaches. Arriving on the sea floor, we began our search for the Windy, but were also treated to a variety of deep sea life rarely seen or filmed. Compared to the lush coral reefs near the surface, the deep sea floor is often barren, most life sustained by marine snow, bits of organic material falling from the more fertile upper reaches of the ocean. One of the first creatures we encounter is a jewel squid, apparently very rare in the Caribbean. It is quickly followed by other equally exotic animals. The rat tail fish seems unconcerned by the submarine. The orange ruffy, more commonly seen on the dinner plate, is vulnerable to overfishing because it grows slowly. It lives up to 150 years. We are mesmerized by a free swimming sea cucumber. Its body is translucent, revealing the organs inside as it undulates in the cool water. Although we have seen no sign of the windy, we continue our exploration of this area, the first people to ever set eyes upon it. Our path has taken us slowly deeper to 2,540 feet, which is deeper than the Idabel has ever been before and the world record for a tourist submarine. We take our time, about five hours, to see the many strange inhabitants of this deep sea world. The experience is more like being an astronaut than any earthly form of exploration. Few people have ever traveled to these depths to see these unique creatures in their natural habitat. Brissingid sea stars and glass sponges remain almost unchanged from ancient times. The chimera is the close cousin of the sharks, a sort of living relic that has persisted in similar form for over 400 million years. Deep sea gold corals are colonies of tiny organisms that are often thousands of years old and serve as habitat for many creatures, much like the coral reefs found in shallow waters. Soon, we will return to the surface where team members and the local mayor are waiting to celebrate the record-breaking dive. But in this wondrous deep-sea world, we take what time we can to marvel at the amazing treasures of the deep.